So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly reset. If you guys don't know, reset was yesterday, but unfortunately, at least to my knowledge, Destiny 2 has been down since yesterday. If finally back up. Either way, yesterday I couldn't log in at all all day, so that is pretty much it. We're going to be looking at 801 and Eververse in that order. Before we look at 801, let's look at the fit for the video because, again, don't want people to ask me what it is. what is that when uh, I can just show you. So for this one, we're going to be using the Celestial Nighthawk with the Cathart today Cathart day the filigree this ornament i like this ornament it's one of my favorite ornaments for it just because it looks really cool uh we have grips of trepidation resonant fury vest catch killer strides and Tekken regalia cloak this was my like i guess darkness slash taken theme because like i love the fact that it's white from the bottom and then when you start going up you guys see the like the black going in hard and yeah it's one of my favorite fits that i've made in the in my channel just because it looks really cool very unique as well and uh, yeah definitely one of my favorite looks for the shader we have arable's glance for the helmet we have cryptic insignia for the arms gift of the nine for the boots and the chest piece and then the ensilvered snare for the cloak so uh there's reasons for each of these uh, a arable's glance turns all of this into black Unfortunately, a lot of the blacks uh, on other shaders has something that I don't like about it. That being said, if the Cryptic Insignia shader, the one you get for so, for flawlessing that the raid, uh, if it turns it all black, I would prefer that because I feel like the orange color, as small as it is, does kind of bug me. Um, Gift of the Nine for these two makes a lot of sense because all of this is white. If I really wanted to, and I if I wanted to make each set or each piece have a different shader then i could do something like this maybe but the blue kind of takes me out of it so anything else that has like a white would be way better or i could just switch out gift of the nine for something else as well that's also a possibility but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about the fit as for 801 we have dude we have briaguzi and knight which is definitely one of my favorite shaders uh that being said it i think the more I like look at this shader, the over the years, I like it a lot. There's just problems with it. A, when it comes to cloth, it looks pretty terrible. The off color, I'm not the big fan of. The off off color is even worse than that, if you can believe me. I don't see it. Oh, you can see some of it here. But it's a textured pink, like a very like almost rose gold pink. But I would definitely recommend it if you wear a lot of armor pieces, specifically like plate armor. Titans is going to look really, really cool with you. Ti Hunters, you do have some pieces that's going to be really cool. And Warlocks, a lot of it's just going to be cloth for you. So I would definitely ignore it for Warlocks. But for Titans and Hunters specifically, it's going to be really cool. Kairos Black. I really wish I liked the shader. i just not the biggest fan of it because of the green, honestly, and that the color right here. Other than that, I think the plate car color looks really, really cool. And the new Monica Regalia, which definitely is a dope shader. I love this shader so much. Yeah, it is so, so good. Definitely get it. It is the Iron Man shader. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for the armor, it is right here. I don't really want to talk about this armor because I I feel like I talk about it all the time. I feel like 801 always sells this armor. But I will tell you what I think about the armor, I guess, because... I know someone's gonna ask not that i'm mad or anything it's just again i feel like i talk about this armor a lot so hunters i think the chest piece is the best piece just because i know some people are gonna want to combine it with like some other cool pieces that's gonna make it look like like an old time like detective i guess i don't know uh helmet's pretty cool i think the arms are decent and i'm being very very nice very generous boots are terrible and i think the cloak is terrible titans this <sighs> I, it's funny because I hate this armor, but I love the boots so much. So helmet, the helmet and the chest piece, and well, I would say the helmet and the boots and even the chest piece can definitely be utilized for a Mongolian look. This is like, when I see this armor, it reminds me of Mongolian armor for some reason, especially the boots. And I think for the boots specifically, it's the skirt or not the skirt, but the thigh armor. I think that's what it reminds me of Mongolian armor. But I have made a Mongolian armor set with the boots and I fucking love it. But I think the helmet, you can utilize it if you ignore some pieces that don't change color because unfortunately a lot of the color in this does not change color. Specifically, the orange does not change color. Um, 
So yeah, I like the helmet. I think the arms are pretty cool. I think the chest piece can definitely be utilized. Boots my favorite, and then the mark is like whatever's. The only unfortunate part is again, like I said, the orange does not change color. And if I'm if I'm talking about shadering, I might as well tell you that the boots also don't shader that well. I mean, I make it look cool, but believe you me, I may I'm, I have to find shaders that make it look good. And then Warlock, I think the helmet's really cool. I think the chest piece is pretty cool. And I think the arms, boots, and bond, I think, are pretty boring. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, I like pieces of this armor, but I just feel like I talk about it so much because Eververse is always, or specifically 801, is always selling it. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for shaders, we have Rivalry Black Sand, or as for Eververse, I should say. And not a big fan of it. Um, Rivalry Black Sand. I never really use this shader. It's pretty good with plate armor, though, which you guys will find out that a lot of shaders are like that. We have Verdant Chrome, which is another green and gold. This one's pretty cool, though. I like the navy here. We have Cherry Blossom Entrance. We have the Front Runner. We have Perfect Swing. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have the class of its own. Because I, I honestly don't really care about this ornament. It's just a shader change. I don't care what you tell me. It's literally just a shader change. Okay, I'll be I'll be generous and say there is some glow in there as well right here. So that is really cool. But at the same time, like, is it cool enough to buy it? No, definitely not. Uh, richly Comparisoned. Which looks pretty cool. Like, actually looks decent. Um, Stygian Corsair. This one looks pretty cool too. Padded Armor Shell. Meh. Out of Breath. Toy Hula Hoop. I think they were selling this last week. And then for the transmit effects, the AI Com. Um, the re I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say all this shit. You can see it. It's too much dog looks pretty cool though uh, reflection effects we have cherry blossom entrance <clears throat> and then up for grabs I don't think this is the good one no it's not this is the McDonald's one which whatever uh, chit and slate oh my god chit and slate definitely you guys need to pick up because it is a really good shader turns off glows which you guys will notice on the helmet um, I will say if it doesn't turn off the glow, it will turn it into a solid, which is what's happening with the eyes. Um, we have Verdant Crown, which I'm going to be honest, not a fan. And then Verdant Chrome, which this one definitely looks better. Wait, did we just? Yeah, we looked at this one already. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I am pretty excited to showcase some of the videos that I'm making right now because... We've already done this armor set for all the classes plus the class specific videos already. So the next one's gonna be this one right here, the um, the Gallahorn inspired set. I'm excited because some of the sets that I made look fucking amazing, but yeah, pretty excited for this one as well. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I really need to finish that uh, one of the videos that I've been working on because A, I really need to start that because it's going to be the gateway to making other content for other videos or other vi other video games, I should say. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.